Oh yeah, I'm back. You have your boy Rovon here on these comedy, Chicago comedy streets. We here with the Reverend himself, Mr. Ooh yeah! Ooh, yeah. Mr. Mark LaValle, bro. All right, uh, introduce, go ahead and introduce yourself. You know I said it. You know what it is, man. Mark LaValle, baby. Stand Where you from? Man. From Savannah, Georgia. Get up to the seaport out there. And uh, how long you been in uh, doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for about seven years. Now. And what got you into it? Uh, I actually used to do acting. Mm -hmm. Still involved in acting, strictly like voiceover and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I started hanging out. One of my best friends here in Chicago is Ed Towns. Mm. Me and him was hanging out. That's a bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I would go to mics with him, and uh, you know, like we would all. I, I hit him up like, "Yo, man, let's go, let's go drink, man. Let's go kick it." And he'd be like, "Well." I'm down, but first I gotta go to the Oh, mic didn't you here. steal Mike, uh, Ed's best friend from him? What's that? Didn't you steal Ed's best friend from him? <laughs> his cousin is the re is how we met, because I was cool with his cousin. Oh. And then uh, me and him started hanging out, and we kind of vibed a little bit more. So <laughs> we didn't try to, like, X his cousin out, his co but his cousin kind of got upset because we was hanging out all the time. Yeah. So, but... I ended up going to a few mics with him and shit, and I was like, man, I want to try this shit out. Cause I, you know, I did acting, so I was just confused and shit like that. I wasn't afraid to get funny. Yeah. I, it was my birthday, my 32nd birthday. I went up and stayed with him. Had a good set. Yeah. And after that, I had the bug, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you, what you think, what you think that got you the bug? You just felt good, or? Well, if you. Like in comparison to acting, I still love to act, but like comedy is like I can be myself. I'm not giving a script. I don't have to be pretend to be somebody else. I don't have to pretend to be somebody I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. With comedy, my like I write my jokes. I do everything. So it's like you know what I'm saying. I'm just being me. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's 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 why I vibe with comedy. So what made you move to Chicago? Uh, mostly just wanted to get out of Savannah. <laughs> Savannah's a tight town. I, I want to uh, retire there one day. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. But uh, Chicago, though, like, I needed to get somewhere. I needed to get to a real city, like a, a metropolitan type of city. Yeah. You know, to more options. So. Right. So you've been in it for a little minute now. So if you had any advice for any new comic who haven't started or any new comic that just started, any advice for any up-and-coming comic, what would it be? Uh, my advice to up-and-coming comics is don't try to get booked too fast. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of like people that'll be in it for like six months and they walk up, they'll come up to me and be like, yo man, how can I get on the show? How can I do this? And it's like, yo, spend those first couple of years just trying to be funny. Like this this is a marathon. This ain't a race. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just try to be funny those first few years. Don't try to don't try to come up too fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Enjoy it while you're in that moment. Because right. that moment's gonna be gone. And there's gonna be more the, the the more you get booked, the more your name is out there. Yeah, you gotta step the, the higher game. expectations people gonna have of. You. Yeah, you it's levels to this shit. Yeah, what saying. so just you know, just take your time with it. Yeah. Especially young comics. If you in your twenties or whatever, take your time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what's Mark Lavelle's like ultimate goal in this game? My ultimate goal, man, is just to like to do this shit full time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I can quit my job. You know, and just like. Be a stand-up comedian full time. You know what I mean. Like, I would love to be on a Kevin Hart type of level. Yeah. But I would settle for like a Doug Stanhope type of level. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? Where it's like a cult comics. following almost. Yeah, he got a cult following. Real comics respect his game. You know what I'm saying? Respect his style. That's what I'm about. Like, I don't. I'm not trying to. If I become a millionaire from this shit, great. But shit, I'll do. I'll take thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A nigga just don't want to work a job. Right, exactly. All right, so uh, what else you got going on besides the stand-up thing? You wouldn't believe this. Well, actually, you probably would. I actually, uh, so one of my side hustles is uh, I'm a wedding official. So I've married like... Oh, yeah. yeah. He ain't the reverend for no reason, y'all. Yeah, I've married over like 30 people. Yeah. I've been doing that for a couple of years now. How you like that? It's dope, man. It's dope. And a lot of people pick me. Because on my profile, I, I let people know that I do comedy. Yeah. So a lot of times people pick me because they don't want to say traditional wedding. They want somebody that can make them laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 
have a good time with, with the ceremony. So that's what I try to do. Well, I'm about to start doing weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so what can they find you at? What's your social social media handles? Uh, you can find me at uh, Mark Laval at, on Facebook. Um, well, <laughs> we got Dale Repeat going out. Hey, don't bother. All right, bro. But you can find me there or uh, also check me out. I got a podcast, Haters and Debaters. Yeah. It's at Haters and Debaters. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, all that good stuff. Yeah. So, all right, that was uh, Savannah's finest, Mark Lavelle, man. Checking in.